so the, uh, my name is Scott Smith. Uh, I got second here today at the Silver Goose behind my teammate. Pretty excited about that. Well done. But yeah, I'm also on the Jam Fund, and it's a really cool, it's a 501c3 program uh, down in Western Massachusetts. What does that mean? 501c3? Oh, it's a nonprofit charity. So it's, uh, we, we're a charity. Um, you can donate to us and do a tax write-off. Um, and so that's, that's actually all we run off of is donations, uh, which is really cool to see. Uh, we are supported by a local cycling club, which is the Northampton Cycling Club. And you can join that club even if you live you know, in Canada. I'm sure people would love to see that. Um, but you can join the club. Uh, and what we do with the Jam Fund is we are the elite riders from the club. And so we come to all these races and hopefully do well, get some results, and show that there's a pathway that you can take through cycling to uh, make a career out of it if you want. Um, but the, the biggest thing that, that's in the background of all that is just creating good people. Um, so there's a lot of values that go into Jam. Like we have here a team of six today, and uh, you don't see them with me, but everyone's helping out pack the van, unpack the van, clean the wheels, clean the bikes, um, take care of everything. We have a big tent from our sponsors that we all take care of, pack it up, take it down. So it's a big effort by everyone, but it, it really builds teamwork and leadership. And that's, uh, it's really important to us in the area to grow like community leaders. Uh, and then even if they don't, if they decide that cycling is not their thing, uh, they're still supported by us in the community but just at whatever they choose to do. So a lot of people have come onto the program and then not necessarily graduated to a pro team, but they have actually, they may, they may have even quit cycling at a, at a competitive level, but they've gone on to be you know, owners of their own company and they, they kind of get the confidence and the experience in working with a team uh, and, and being a leader. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. So it was actually started by Jeremy Powers, the uh, you know many-time elite national champion for the U.S. Uh, cyclocross um, scene. He's just a really great guy. He he had two friends named Alec and Mukunda. Alec is actually with us. He's kind of like the day-to-day -day operations manager of the team. He comes with us to all the races, um, makes sure he's also the coach. So he's talking to us about our eating, training, food, sleep, all that. He kind of handles that. Um, and so they, they put it into an acronym, JAM, Jeremy Alec Macunda, and that's uh, how the JAM Fund started. We have a grand fundo, it's called, in the Western Massachusetts, and that's our main, one of our other main sources of um, budget for the year. That's where all the donations come from. And you can come down, do this awesome ride. You have three choices of rides, uh, and then there's a huge barbecue after where uh, everyone hangs out and eats and has a bunch of fun, there's music, uh, there's raffles. He raffles off a raffle focus bike every year um, with zip wheels, zip carbon wheels. So it's, pretty, it's a pretty good time. From there, the season starts for us and we go into all the cyclocross races. Tell me a little bit about the video things you're Yeah, making. so it's called Jammin'. And uh, if you're on YouTube, you should check it out. It's uh, Fully Torqued Media uh, is, the, is, who, is the name that we're putting it under the channel. We have a bunch of episodes. They just started this year. So the first episode is from Rochester, which was the first UCI race of the season in uh, New York. Uh, and then so we have short videos, around 15 minutes. Some are shorter and some could be a little longer. But it's kind of what we do uh, during the weekend when we're not racing. So the only time you really don't get to see us is during that hour of racing. You know, there is clips and there are results to, to show how we did on the weekend, but it's mostly us goofing around, um, kind of showing you who we are as people, uh, in the house, in the Airbnb, in the hotel, making food, uh, joking around. Uh, so it's pretty... It's a pretty fun series, um, and we're just, we're just having fun with it. It's not really a serious... Uh, uh, vet video series. I know Jeremy's team has one called uh, Behind the Barriers. It's nothing like that. But uh, if you want to just laugh a little bit, uh, you come on down to Jam and check it out. We're going to check it out. We're yeah. Like you. All right. Yeah. Follow us. We're follow you guys. Yeah. Facebook, Instagram, Jam Fund, all that stuff. Amazing.